this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Link's Awakening! Let's put that hook shot to some more good use. Wonder if this will work on them. Yep, or not that guy. Whoa! Jerk. I can't hit that guy with it, apparently. Okay, you get to live for now. Hey, that actually does work. Oh, wow, I can actually kill them with my sword while they're stunned. I didn't know about that, or I forgot about it at least. Yeah, now we can make it across that pit there. Oh, we get an arrow from it. I suppose I could use my arrows for once. But remember we got that mermaid scale? Well, now we can put it right into the statue here. I don't know why that makes any sense, but it works, and it opens up a secret passage. Let's see. Whoa, what's going on here? How do I get damaged like that? Well, anyway, since we're able to get under the statue, we got the legendary magnifying lens, the final item in the trading sequence. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll keep uh, we'll keep an eye out for some things like that. Whoa! No wonder I was taking damage earlier. Yeah, the enemies were too small for me to see, but now we got the magnifying lens, so it reveals a whole bunch of things that were either too small for us to see or invisible or whatnot. Remember, there was a book back at the uh, Mabe Village Library that we couldn't read because the print was too tiny? Well, I'll save that for later because it's a huge spoiler. So, you know, we'll just save that one for later. But that is one thing that you can do with the magnifying lens. Ah, oh, hey, there's a, the, the photographer mouse guy. Hey, how's it going? Go for it. Let me guess what's going to happen here. Ha <laughs> Yeah, I saw that one coming. It's a LUNKER! Yeah, take a picture of us while we got our hook in your mouth! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice little picture there. I think I could have gotten that earlier, like, actually immediately when I met him after giving him the hook or something like that. But, uh, well, I forgot. But, I mean, it was on my list. I just put it here. I didn't really think that I could get it before. I, I guess it just didn't occur to me for some reason. But, whatever. Okay, so now that we got the magnifying lens, let's see, there's one more... Or, wait a minute, no, I gotta go down here. There's one more picture that I, that I can get with that thing. So let's head on back to the village here. Well, Animal Village. See, we gotta go in the upper right house here. Huh? What? Oh, this is automatic. Okay, there you go. I was like, what, what, what's going on? Yeah, you get the magnifying lens, you can see this guy now, and you can get another photo! Um, well, you don't have a magnifying lens, but well, I'll take your word for it. Ah, ha! <laughs> Nice look you got on your face there, Link. Sure! Oh, really? Well, Tarambo Shores is a bit out of the way, so... You know what? I'll just meet you over there. I'll meet you at the house by the bay, and... Well, you know where that is. Alright, we're back at the house by the bay here. Um, just so you know where it is on the map. There it is. So, let's head on back to Tarambo Shores, just like that guy was telling us. There's one cave that I could have blown up with a bomb, but, well, I didn't earlier because it didn't really have much of a point. But come on, blow up the enemies! Ha 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 ha! Whoa, damn it. Ah, I couldn't get that heart. Oh, well. But anyway, now that you have the magnifying lens, you can see this guy. If you came in here before, it would just have been like an empty cave. It would have been like, what the hell's going on here? Uh... Sure, why not? I'll give up my shield for it. Just like Zelda 1, I always love having the boomerang on my B item. What? Huh. Well, there's only one particular item that he's willing to trade for uh, the item that he has. The shovel. So, equip the shovel on your B button to get this item. And uh, don't worry, there's nothing else really to shovel for the remainder of the game. But if you really want it back, you could trade it back too. And for trading our shovel away, we get the boomerang, which is actually really, really powerful in this game. I'll explain why later. 
Oh, buyer's remorse? No! But thou must! No, no, we, we don't have to, so... Ha! We can actually kill enemies with the boomerang. It's more powerful than the level one sword. So, yeah, there you are. So that's pretty damn amazing. Whoa, hey! And I'll rearrange my items later. Whatever. Okay, well, that's everything I can do here. Uh, let's see. I want to head over back to that warp point by the Angler's Tunnel. So, uh, you know what? I'll just meet you over there. All right, we've made it back up by the uh, Angler's Tunnel here. And uh, one thing I did off screen was I picked up, well, I used a hook shot to get over here. I picked up some extra rupees by the, from the trendy game because you need a hundred rupees in order to do this next part here so sorry i guess i kind of forgot that i still needed rupees for something no uh well fortunately i'm just gonna take this secret passage oh well, i can't do much with it but i got rid of the guardian acorn Ha <laughs> never get the best of me again oh there's a rat shop here river rapids huh Sure, sounds like a good idea. I don't think we've had a raft since, well, Zelda 2. I don't think they had one in the third game. They had one in the first game, too. 100 rupees! Sure, why not? Sounds like a great idea. But yeah, that's what I needed 100 rupees for, so that I can show this off. It would be a good idea to bring your rocks feather with you. Now, for to show you the path that I'm going to be taking, I'm holding up and left right now because I don't want to fall down the waterfall just yet. And sorry if you can't hear me over the rapids too well. But yeah, you want to go down here. But yeah, you got flying items here. Lots of good stuff. Treasure chests. You can more than easily make up the 100 rupees that you uh, spent for this here. So let's play this nice little mini game. I like it. It's a nice mini game. Joy! I don't know what that means. But anyway, yeah, just jump around and uh, get rupees, bombs, all sorts of items. Rupees are really the items that we actually care about, but they're there. Um, yeah, I can't make it down there. Oh, well. Let's, uh, let's head on up here. I want to cover as many screens on the first trip as I can. Ah, yes, what we can do is we can just go around in a circle here. Get down there. There we go. Just wanted to make sure I at least got that screen. Let's see. Can I make it all? Yeah, I can't get all those. Can I get a little more rubies? No! Oh, well. I'm short on rupees, but you get the idea of how that thing works. So, And uh, this tunnel here, right over here, that can take you all the way back up to the rapids if you want to play it again. I'll probably do that off screen just to fill out my map there, but that's just something that you can do. And besides, right now I'm low on money. Whoa. Stay away from me, guys. How the hell do I get out of here? Ah, there we go. Okay, so. Let's see, there's a fairy in that cave. If you need to restore your life. Hmm, there's another uh, place with a keyhole. Huh. Oh, hey, it's Mr. Owl. One to the north, the other to the south. I could have gone to the one to the south earlier, but I decided not to do that. Oops, sorry, I went through the dialogue a little quickly, but uh, yeah, I said we'll learn much about the windfish there, so let's head on down there, since, well, that's where we were told to go to. Well, stay away from me, man. Stop bombing the place! I can't hear myself think! Thank you. Well, maybe I'll have enough rupees by the time I'm done with this. Well, no, probably not. I was hoping maybe I could go for another rafts ride before the next dungeon, but no, not happening. For those who uh, missed the episode earlier when I came here, uh, just use your shield to bounce these... Uh, uh, oh, what's the difference? There's the Armos Knights and the Dark Nuts. I think these guys are Armos Knights. I get, I get those two mixed up all the time, but... Essentially, some of these are just ordinary statues, and they won't do anything, like this. But if you touch one of the real ones, they'll wake up and come alive. So, in order to tell which ones are real and which ones are not, just use your shield and... Which one am I gonna get now? Come on. Yeah! Piece of power! Overpowers the Guardian Acorn! Woohoo! Ha ha ha! Too much power! Alright! I didn't know what 
was going to happen there, viewers? <laughs> but yeah, just bounce the uh, real Armos Knights out of the way there. So that way we can uh, enter the shrine of the Silver Monkey. Next time on Let's Play Link's Awakening. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.